Welcome to the video on tensors. In this video, we'll be learning what are tensors exactly and then we'll be seeing through some characteristics of tensors. Okay, so let's get started. Now, what are tensors? So, you know, tensors are used a lot in tensor flow. So, we should know what tensors exactly are. In simple words, a tensor describes a multi-dimensional numerical array. Okay, so tensors can be constant or variable and uh, there are three parameters by which a tensor can be identified and those parameters are rank, shape and type. We'll be going through all these parameters one by one in further part of this video. Okay, so now we can see that as we said that it is a multi-dimensional array, right? A tensor is a multi-dimensional array and it is depicted in this photo right so basically you can see that this is a one dimensional tensor which is also known as a vector right this is a two dimensional tensor which is known as a matrix this is a three dimensional tensor which is essentially a cube of numbers right and similarly we can have four dimensional five dimensional and n number of dimensions can be present in a tensor okay so this is what a tensor exactly is now we'll see what is a rank of our tensor okay so the rank of a tensor is equal to the number of dimensions of the tensor okay so a scalar has no dimensions right so it has rank zero because it just has magnitude and no direction right vector has a rank of one okay a two-dimensional matrix has a rank of two because it is essentially a table of numbers it has rows and columns right a three-dimensional array has a rank of three, which is essentially a cube of numbers, as we just saw in the previous slide, right? So basically, a rank is denoted by the number of dimensions in a tensor, okay? And a rank of a tensor is the number of indices that is required to specify an element. So suppose you have a one-dimensional vector. So you can, like, uh, just identify an element in the vector by its index i say 0th index element or 1st index element or 5th index element and so on, okay? So in the case of a one dimension vector, you just need to have one index so as to specify the position of an element in the vector, right? In the case of a table of numbers, you will be requiring two indices, i and j, so as to identify a number in the matrix, right? So, you know, like we say that uh, element at the position 1, 3 in the case of two dimensional matrix right so basically what happens is that the number of indices that are required to specify an element in a tensor is known as the rank of this tensor okay so you can see like here this is a tensor of dimension one because you just need one index to specify the element in this tensor right it has just rows and column is just one right this is a tensor of two dimensions it has rows and columns so you require two indices so as to identify an element in this matrix, right? Now this is a tensor of dimension three. You need to specify three indices so as to identify an element in this tensor. Now let's see what is a shape of a tensor, okay? So the shape of a tensor is the number of rows and columns it has, okay? So basically, uh, what happens is that suppose you have a two-dimensional matrix okay and say it has five rows and six columns so the shape will be five comma six okay as simple as that the dimension of the two-dimensional matrix will be two but in this case the shape will be five comma six okay similarly we can see that a zero dimensional tensor which is essentially a scalar it has a shape of this i mean it has no shape essentially right a one dimensional vector has the shape of columns or rows i mean the number of columns or the number of rows can be written so as to depict the shape of this vector right for a two dimensional matrix as i just explained the shape will be denoted by rows comma columns right so a tensor has its rank and shape okay rank is the number of dimensions and shape is the size of each dimension okay now we'll just give an example which will help you to understand the difference between the rank and shape of a tensor better so yeah let's see this example so this 
3 that you can see here, right? It is just a scalar, okay? So it is a rank 0 tensor. And hence, it has a null shape, okay? Now, this thing that you can see here, it is a one-dimensional vector, okay? So it has a rank of 1. And this vector has a shape of 3. So the shape can be noted by writing the number within the square brackets, right? So this has a shape of 3. Why? Because there are three elements that are present in this vector. So the size of this dimension of the vector is 3. Okay, the number of dimensions of this vector is 1 and hence the rank of this vector or tensor, whatever you can say because this is a one-dimensional tensor and a one-dimensional tensor is essentially known as a vector. Okay, but the number of elements, they denote the shape, right? Similarly, in this one, you can see it is a tensor of rank 2, right? Because it has like uh, rows, comma, columns. If you want to write it in a matrix form, then you can do that. So, okay. So, it is a, a tensor of rank 2 and it has a shape of 2, comma, 3, okay? So, what happens is that when we denote the shape, we go outwards in. So, this 2 comes from where? So you can see that in this, uh, within these outer square brackets, you can see that there are two elements present, right? So hence you write two. And when you just go inside one of these elements, you can see that there are three elements present, right? So hence there is this three over here, okay? Similarly, let's see in this example. So you can see that inside these outermost square brackets, there are two elements present, right? So hence a two over here. When we go inside one of those elements, we see that there is just one element present, so a one here. And when we go even further, we see that there are three elements present and hence a three here. Okay, so this is a rank three tensor and has a shape of two comma one comma three. So I hope that now you are clear that how to find the shape of a tensor. Okay, now let's see what is a type of a tensor. Okay. So a type of a tensor is essentially the data type that is assigned to the tensor's element. Okay, so a tensor may consist of strings, numbers, floating point, boolean values. But there is one thing to note very carefully. All the elements of a tensor must have the same data type. Okay, so it is not the case that would happen that there are several different kind of data types that are present in the same tensor. So that cannot happen. That is an invalid tensor. Okay. So in this video, we learned what is a tensor. And then we saw the various parameters of a tensor like rank, shape and type of a tensor.